Hi, this is Jim from International Camera Techs. Today I'm going to show you how to take apart this lens. This is a Nikkor and um, I'll show you some of the big mistakes that people make and really watch this video before you start taking a lens apart because you're going to learn something. What we have is this Nikon 35mm. It's a f2 and it's got really dry lube so we're going to go ahead and we're going to completely take it apart and we're going to replace the lube with quality modern lube so this thing will run for another 25 years. Well let's get started. My first thing I want to do is get this um, rubber ring off and they're usually just lightly glued so I just get underneath it, come around, break any glue that might be on it and out it comes. Next ring is this ring right here. You can see the brake mark in it right there. I'm going to go ahead and twist that off. That comes out. Okay. Next step you want to do is look for a set screw. These front rings always have a set screw somewhere set screw has to come out so don't try and take this out without a set taking a set screw out and this comes out these can be tight when you take it rings off don't grab so tight because if I grab it super tight I can actually distort this barrel slightly and it'll actually grip the threads even harder so um, makes it much more difficult to get them off okay front element on this lens comes out it's loose comes out it's nice. Set it aside. Don't scratch it. Alrighty, so I'll take the rear cap off. Alright, we can take the uh, focus ring off. Many lenses come apart in different ways, but this one's fairly simple, and this is one of the more simple lenses to work on. So I'll just take that out. The three screws. Second one. And the third. So these are slip rings. This thing can go anywhere it wants to. Tighten those screws down, and that's where your focus will be. And come to a stop. So we have infinity. So this essentially is your focus ring right here. That'll close down. Now there's no stop in it because your stop is actually on this ring here. So it will kind of feel mushy when you get to the back. But don't worry about that. Just don't bend anything. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take the rear mount off. This is not a big deal. It's three screws. One, two, three. Don't worry about this inner ring. A lot of people take the inner ring off. You do not need to. Not on these lenses. AF lenses, yes. This lens, no. So just do one, two, and three. Okay. My screws. These are difficult screws to get out. If you take a look at the screw, it's got a bunch of white stuff. The white stuff is glue which means it can be in there extremely tight. These aren't too bad, they came out pretty easy. If it was super tight and I couldn't get it out, I may come in here with a hammer and just give it a shock value. The shock breaks the glue and then sometimes they come up. Other people like to use acetone down in it, but I never could figure out how acetone gets into a thread, um, but I guess it could. All right, so mount comes up, coupler, that coupler there needs to go around that wonderful little shaft right there. Otherwise, you get no diaphragm action. This is your f-stop ring. Make sure it goes in this direction and not upside down. They will go in both ways. It won't work that way. It'll work that way. Up they come. This ring's just on there. It just slips on. Out it comes. Couples in with this ring. And I'll show you when I put it together how that all couples up. So that's the back side. Um, not a whole lot going on there. You can go ahead and take this ring off. Now here's where you start to get into issues. You need to know where the front is. As soon as I take this ring off here, it's got the front index. As soon as I take that off, you do not have a, a mark knowing where the front of the lens is. There are ways to find it out, but you do not know. So I always do this. Always put a mark on it telling me where my front is. I like to use an arrow. You can use whatever you want. Just make your marks different for different things that you want to do. So three screws come out. Okay, my ring's gonna come off. Oh, it comes off in the front direction. Sometimes front, sometimes back. So it comes off. And now, as you can see, no index mark. Your index mark is here. If I hadn't marked it, you wouldn't know. But you can see my mark right there. It's a little V all I like to put on it and at this point it becomes actually the 
most important thing that you can do when taking a lens apart is I tend to get to a certain point. I don't care what your point is, where it's coming apart, but I have my V mark. So I'm going to put my V mark up here because this is this ring is separate than that ring and that ring. So you have three rings moving here. See how this one comes out? Not a little, little bit of movement on that one, a lot of movement on here. All right. So what I like to do is I come in and I put one here on the front and another one there. Where that starts is my depth of this ring here. And the depth from here to here is extremely important. Okay, just like the depth from here to here is important. So you have those two in, in line. Let me make, make that a little clearer. The other one also needs a V on it. All my V's are roughly in alignment. And then my height is marked as well. So now when I come out a little bit, you can see a V and you have a height mark. That's the same on this one, a V, and there is a height mark. I don't know if you can see it, but it is there. You'll see it when I get it apart. And this one, of course, doesn't really need it. So now what I'm going to do is these are focus keys. These focus keys now come out. And once you've had these marks here, there's no way you can get these in incorrectly. So I'm going to take these out. These are glued in pretty good. But the red, red glue is not too bad to break. So make sure your screwdrivers are quality screwdrivers. Okay. Okay, now everything here is coming apart. And this is where people get mixed up okay so this guy's gonna come out you can see this is micro threads these micro threads may have one maybe two starting points sometimes three um, what I do is go slow at the end I'm going very slow there broke right there and that's why I felt it come apart I'll put it back slightly in it comes I'm just barely tugging this direction on this rim this rim and as soon as I feel it start to come my direction, there, it broke loose. And I kind of clamped it with my fingers, and I put a mark across there. My assembly mark is a T, and that may be very small, but that is a little T that right there. I line a T with a V, and I know that screws in. It's not so important on this one, but it will be important on this next one I do. So I look for the V. There's my next one, a V. Screw it out. And now there's like a ton of starting points. You take it out with no, no index marks or no depth marks, you could do it with this one and just put it in. But you're trying a whole bunch. It's just, if you do it the way I do it, it's so much simpler and I'm just barely pulling on it. I know I'm coming to the end there, it broke. Clamp it together mark a T or a plus whatever you want to call it so there we go now if I have to put it together boom I don't have to guess what direction it's going in so when these two are down they line up so that's the biggest problem I see with people taking things apart they don't keep their markings consistent they don't do their height there are a number of different ways to do the height but I found this is absolutely the most simple so what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean this on up and then I will make another video on how to reassemble this lens and we will do everything right down to focus. Okay, that's it with the disassembly of this uh, nice little 35 millimeter. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or visit our website at ictcamera.com for more information. Thank you very much.